Hey there, good morning students. I was just settling into my morning routine, um, making a cup of coffee, having a big glass of water and taking things kind of easy until I get my bearings about me. Um, when I was actually thinking about uh, some of the more fun morning routines from mythology, uh, particularly from Nordic mythology um, and the morning routine of Valhalla which is the afterlife for mortals who die valiantly in battle or at least it was for the Norse peoples um, and their ideal afterlife is much different from what I think mine is and perhaps what you think yours would be and it's very interesting but anyways uh, I'm gonna read you a quick little excerpt from this one comes right from the Prose Edda written by Snorri Sturluson uh, and this is the morning routine of Valhalla the daily battle at Valhalla Gangleri spoke Large crowds of people are at Valhalla. It is my belief that Odin must be a powerful lord, because he controls so large an army. But how do the Einherjar amuse themselves when they are not drinking? He replied, Every day, after they dress, they put on their war gear, then they go out to the courtyard and battle, the one attacking the other. Such is their sport. When it comes time to eat, they ride home to Valhalla and sit down to drink, as is said here. All the Einherjar in Odin's home fields fight among themselves each day. The slain they select, then ride from the battlefield reconciled, then again sit together. And that is a brief passage from the Lay of Vafthrudnir. It is true, as you say, that Odin is powerful. Many examples of his power are evident. Here are the words of the Aesir themselves. The ash Yggdrasil is foremost of trees, and Skidbladnir of ships, Odin of the Aesir, and of stallions, Sleipnir, Bifrost of bridges, and Bragi of scalds, Habruk of hawks, and of hounds, Garm. And that is an excerpt from the Lay of Grimnir. Now, the last half of that wasn't really too important to morning routines, but the first little bit is interesting. So ideally for these people, in their afterlife, they wake up, they get dressed, they put on their armor, and every single day in the afterlife, they would go to the courtyard and battle to the death. Then when it was time to eat, they would all rise up from the battlefield, go inside, and they would feast without end. And that was um, a cyclical and repeating thing day after day. Much like how uh, the Norse peoples believed that all of time was cyclical as opposed to linear, as we do. Um, they believed that there was a beginning and there was an end, and then it would just restart all over again which is kind of a terrifying prospect when i think about it it's kind of a groundhog's day sort of a thing but that's what these people believed and that is what mornings look like for them in their afterlife so i just thought i would share that i am going to go enjoy my cup of coffee now and i hope you all have a great day and i look forward to getting to some more stories with you guys later all right Bye-bye, students.